Th there's definitely uneven access to these um, technologies and, and one thing that's not well realized is that they're not all the same. That one companies or institutions, EGFR testing even, is not the same as another. And uh, there are rare mutations in EGFR that, that are activating, that are missed by many of the standard um, assays. And so I think we're also in a transition period as to what the ideal testing platform is for each of these uh, lesions. I think it will converge to some sort of next generation sequencing based analysis for most of the lesions, though uh, some of the tests may be better screened by immunohistochemistry, even such as ALK fusions. There's some data that, that expression of ALK protein uh, may be better than any molecular test. Um, and with an ideal protein test, uh, since the target of the drug and the, the actual uh, mechanistically important moiety in a cancer cell is the protein, if you had optimal protein analytic capabilities, that should be better than, than any of the others. Um, but we're, the protein analytics that are available today are, are not as well developed as the genetic ones. And so I think right now the genetic tests are more robust in general.